y'all, my name's Amy, as most of you already know, and today's video is going to be, um, kind of a showing you where my bunnies live, um, what I clean them with, or like what I clean their, um, enclosure with. This is my little baby. This is Penelope. Say hi, baby. Say hi. She's getting really close. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into the video, and I'm gonna, she keeps trying to... close up bunny shots but anyways we're gonna hop straight right, into so this to video. kind of start off I'm gonna show you guys their like area of what they have while I'm not home right now we are learning to free roam huh we are trying to free roam we are working on that so they aren't stuck in a cage all day long which is terrible I hate it especially like when I'm out of town or something I hate when they have to be in a cage so I'm working on free roaming them just in my bedroom because the house doesn't belong to me or anything it is my parents house and we do have cats and dogs and things so it'll just be in my bedroom she's trying to jump off and so hi and so we will there show you that their little area it is five foot long by five foot tall there's Penelope on the top shelf. There's one, there's one, and then there's the bottom. Then they also have this door right here. It's a door. I have it pinned closed right now. But this door, they run in and out of all the time. They love it. Fluffy used to not actually stay be on the like top shelf until Penelope kind of we kind of moved the cage. We kind of showed him how to do it. This is me in the middle of cleaning it, so no, this isn't what it looks like in the end, but I am working on cleaning it, so just bear so with me. So I'm going to kind of show you what they have outside of their cage. They don't have too much because it is my space as well as theirs, so I'm going to kind of show you their some of this. Bed. I had to take it out of their cage because they like to chew on it, so I put a blanket on there. You can see where they've been chewing on it, so I haven't been letting them use it, but that is part of one of their things and then also have this box over here they both love to chew on it and play in it and then I have this tunnel they love to run in it and run underneath the bed and yes I do sleep underneath the bed totally clear so there's nothing in under there so they can eat it and there is Fluffy Now, Fluffy did have to have a surgery on his ear because he did have a little growth on it, which is a, was a benign type of cancer. And so, I've been just having to watch him. He's been doing really good. He's not acting funny, and it seems to not be growing back, so I'm super excited about it. So, we're going to kind of hop into what I have for cleaning supplies. i kind of show you what I use to help clean I have bath mats that I use underneath their litter pan. It helps to keep the whole entire area clean. And then they're easy to wash, easy to use. And I use it also underneath their blankets. That one doesn't have one underneath it because all of them are in the wash and I don't have any more right now. But I also use this. It's a shop vac. I just have the smaller version, but... Hay does get stuck in it, so I do recommend that you get one that has a bigger tube size because the tube size is small and hay gets stuck in it. So I recommend the bigger size. And then I use Clorox wipes to help clean out their litter pan, which I'll show you that. This is their litter pan. I'm not going to show you in it because it's gross right now. But I have a blue litter pan. And I have this top part, and it's cut open so I can fit it underneath the last level. And that helps to get it so it's not everywhere in the cage. Because my dear little Penelope here, say hi, baby. My dear little Penelope loves to dig. And so with her digging, it makes an absolute mess, especially after I've just cleaned it high. And so... And so it helps to make it not so... so dirty in their cage so then I use I have this mixture and it's half vinegar half water and I spray this on after I'm done wa washing it down with Clorox wipes I wipe that out and then I put what I use for litter on the inside which I use this litter it is paper litter and bedding and I use that along with like some shredded up paper 
because it works very well. And so that's what I use for cleaning with. And then I also use this dustpan just because it helps. Like if there's just a little bit of mess and I don't have to clean the entire cage, I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm just going to sweep up what I have to sweep up. Because it's easier maintaining it daily than it is to try to maintain it once of every few days or whatever. Especially because where I have two, they make messes. They're bunnies. They're going to make their messes. She's being all lovey-dovey tonight, huh? Huh. So, that is what I use for them. Um, I'll show you what the cage looks like after I'm done cleaning so it. So, I'm going to show you guys kind of the toys that I get them and what they use and stuff. I have a whole ton of different stuff for them. So I'm just going to kind of show you a few of the different things that I have for them. So let's start out with what I actually have in their cage at the moment. So at the moment, since I am cleaning their cage, they don't have all their like toys they can throw around or anything, but I do have these little clips. They're plastic and they just hang on the cage like this so they can play with them. And they love these. They just clip them to the cage, or I just clip them to the cage, and they throw them around and stuff on the cage. And yeah, it's a little obnoxious because, it, hey, don't do that. It's a little obnoxious because it's loud, but they like it. So, so I have these little cups, and they're not meant for kids. They're meant for, uh, they're not meant for bunnies. They're meant for kids. And they're little bath cup toys because they have little holes. But I put their treats underneath and it honestly works so good. They love to play with those. Those are one of my favorite things. I have some balls that I bought from Walmart in the bunny section. They don't have a very big bunny section, but they have a set of different balls. They love these little ones. They tear them up. I bought this from PetSmart. It is just a little wooden toy. And it had a wooden ball inside of it, but they've already torn it up. So I figured just to keep this little wooden toy. I have a carrot that they love to chew on. The top's kind of gone. And then I bought this. They love to chew on this as well. It has a little ball on the inside. makes noise. And that's practically what I have for toys. I have a ton more, but I'm not going to pull them out. And then I have this, it is like a, it's like a home, like, if you flip it over on the other side, it has, so they can go in it. But they don't like to go in this, because I don't, I think it's too small for them. So I flipped it over, and I just make it a bed that they use in their cage, and they love it too. So, I figured that's good for them. So I'm going to go ahead and clean real quick, and then I will show you what the cage looks like after I'm done. So this is what their cage looks like after it's done being clean. They have a blanket up top. They have this little litter pan here and it has hay in it. They don't really use it as a litter pan. They sometimes do, but that's what it's for. They have down here, they have this little igloo upside down for a bed. You go down to the last one, it has all their toys. Two water bottles and two water bottles up there. So they have four. Um, down here they have a litter pan and thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you would like to see more rabbit videos and then don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on post phone notifications so you never miss a new video I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time Mwah.